You've heard of Nick's tape? Now this is Nick's shave. <laughs> the 2021-22 New York Knicks average guy tested average guy approved all right guys today I'm gonna to be doing a quick shave a cleanup and I'm gonna combine two things I'm really into, into this video, and maybe more videos. It's really gonna be up to you, because if you're here for the shaving and you don't like the commentary, but today is a special day because my Knicks, my New York Knicks are four and one, and they've just come off two impressive wins. So I'll be throwing out a little Nick's commentary and getting into a shave. But today we're gonna to do a clean up. I'm gonna clean up the neck. I'm gonna keep the beard growing. And the reason I'm doing this, my buddy Mo was the guy who turned me on to this. You let the, the hair grow long down here on your neck if you wanna get some volume going. Because it would look odd if you had this long growth and like a clean neck. And it, and it actually helps support that beard if you wanted to go in that direction. If I get to the point where I, yeah, I want to keep it a, like a business beard, then maybe I trim it up a little closer, but I like it. It looks visually a little better to me. So thanks to Mo for that. Also guys, I just saw on Instagram, my man Leon from Pastor Pharmacy in New York is having a cool sale. So if you guys are into wet shaving, I think there's 15% off for Halloween from now until November 1st. So go to Pastor Shaving. Let Leon know the average guy sent you. Great guy, great store. Go for it. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick cleanup. I think I'm gonna go with the leaf twig. Leaf shave twig, it's a single blade. And I'm just gonna do a nice cleanup. It's gonna allow me to get real fine up on that line. Get in, get out, limited irritation. What am I waiting for? Let's get started. So if you don't know about the twig guys, it's a single blade razor. You can get the leaf branded haft DE blades, lasered and already cut and ready for you from leaf. Or you can use your double-edged razor, your brand, and just snap them in half. Very economical. This is a twist to open. That single blade just fits right in. Magnetized little deck there. Twist to close. And you're locked and loaded, ready to go. We're gonna be going with something new from me. Henri and Victoria, Absinthe. I'm really excited about this. It's got that boozy sort of licorice smell to it. And that'll be the shaving soap today. I've never tried Henri and Victoria. I'm excited about that. And then to follow it up, Clubman Pinot Whiskey Woods. We're gonna stick with the alcohol motif because it's Friday. Guys, I just jumped out of the shower, but since I've been talking, I want to make sure my neck is still nice and steamy. So I'm going to go with a little near hot water. More hot than near hot. Just don't want to burn yourself. And I'll go with a little steam there. I'm also going to be using Pacific Shaving Company. It makes this beautiful natural cork handled synthetic badger hair brush. Love this, guys. Check them out at PacificShavingCompany.com. I'm not sure if Leon sells this, but he may just sell it as well. And I'm gonna go with my first, my first use 
of Ombre and Victoria. A few swirls. Oh, very, very nice. Add a little bit more water before I get going, before I get cooking. And I'm just gonna do a simple ne neck lather. Oh yeah, that's good. That's nice, guys. And you get that foam, that lather into those whiskers, guys. It smells really, really good. Oh yeah, that's nice. All right, let's talk Knicks. Five games in, four and one. One just careless loss to Orlando, coming off a of back to back with that team. If you know the NBA, you know Orlando is not projected to be good this year. But let's talk about last night. So the Knicks go to Chicago and uh, my boys played well. Control the game. All right, so first pass, guys. I'm gonna go with the grain of the hair. I'm gonna go right up to this line here and shave down. Keep that line up intact. Again, you can always go back and trim more. You can't put the hair back. So I'm just going to put that line in and adhere to it. Very nice. This twig is, has a nice mild... Feeling. Nice mild cut. You just want to take your time with it. Very nice. A little bit more warm water. We'll clean this up and we'll see what we have. It's a good shave for my Knicks shave because basically the Knicks have to clean some things up. One of the things they have to clean up is taking the foot off the gas. When you have a team down, you can't let up. And that's what happened last night up by over 10 with under three to play. The game was totally in hand. And just careless ball handling, tentative and over dribbling and pushing it. They almost gave the game away. But if you know basketball, you know they had that game. They control the game. Second pass. And it's nice to see. So five games in with one mistake against a questionable team. I think the Knicks are looking pretty good. And really excited for this fan base, guys. We've been a struggling fan base. If you've been around as long as I've been around, the 90s were not kind because we always had Michael Jordan and the Bulls to look up at. We had a great defensive team, a great team, period, in the mid-90s, early to mid-90s. And just couldn't get over the hump, but no one else did either, except the Bulls. They were stacked. The NBA has a nice feel to it this year, last year. There are teams that everyone thinks will win. I'm not even mentioning them because that's just not what I do. I'm sick of hearing about two teams that everybody has ordained the champions. And I just don't see it. But there's, I hate the word parody. There's competitiveness in the NBA any given night. 
any given night, which is good. The NFL has prospered under that. The fact that on any given game day, Sunday, Thursday night, Monday night, you can get your ass whooped by any team. And the NBA feels like that. There's lots of opportunity, lots of growth. So I'm really excited about the Knicks and their chances. And I like this cleanup, it's very nice. Maybe a little longer on this side, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna be like Jimmy G, as I do like Jimmy G. I'll tweak that just a little bit. But just a nice neck cleanup, guys. And I'm keeping the beard for a while. Now, we're gonna go with the Whiskey Woods by Clubman Pinnell. Oh, guys, smoky whiskey, but it's Clubman Pinnell. You smell that Clubman as the core scent, that classic Clubman. So what I'll do now is I will rinse off with some cool water, close the pores, and we'll go with the Clubman Pinnell. And we'll get into a little bit of beard care as well while we're here. But let's go with this. Clubman Pinnell. Dan Han likes Clubman Pinnell. Dan Johannan. Who's on the mend, my boy. Ah, very nice. Smelling good. It's date night. Friday. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice, guys. All right. Last but certainly not least, I'm going to go with a product from Another really, really cool friend of the show. I've showed this to you before. It's Everyday Beard Care. Softens, scruff, conditions and tames, moisturizes skin. You know, when the beard grows out, you start getting those little midnight itchies. Take a little bit of this product, just a little bit. Squeeze it out. Smooth it together. and apply to your beard. Apply to a clean beard. Ah, yeah, yeah. It'll help moisturize the beard and your face. Soften the stubble. And it has a nice orangey scent to it. And then I take this Boar's hair brush and I brush it through. This does a couple of things. It straightens those flyaways, but it also distributes that product more evenly into your stubble. And there you have it, guys. I'm excited about the NBA. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're excited about the NBA this year too and who your team is if you are excited. And I'll see you guys over the weekend with another shave and hopefully another win for my beloved Knicks who play the Pelicans next. And where the hell did they come up with a name for a team, the Pelicans? They play like Pelicans. Pelicans. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Now, Haley, roll the music.